The Okanagan is home to some of the most diverse wetland ecosystems in Canada. Unfortunately, over 90% of all wildlife in the ecosystem has been destroyed. That is to say, less than 25% of the ecosystem remains. Hey guys, I'm Ben. I'm Pat. And today we're gonna to be surveying aquatic invertebrates. The reason we do this is because uh, aquatic invertebrates are good indicators of wetland health. Uh, if you find examples such as mayflies and dragonfly nymphs in the wetland, that can indicate that the wetland is quite healthy. If you're only finding mosquito larvae, then sometimes that could be a bad indicator for your wetland health. So uh, come on and then join us in this adventure in Okanagan wetlands. So what we're doing here is we're trying to disturb the bottom of the wetland in order to find aquatic invertebrates. While we pull up in our next sample, we'll show what we find in the wetland and we'll take a look together. <laughs> Those water my feet. What'd you find, Ben? Well, it seems like we didn't get anything. After several attempts, Ben and Pat finally managed to trap a wide variety of aquatic invertebrates. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look and uh, try and extract some of as many as uh, invertebrates as we can uh, and just try and see what we found in the sample. Um, what we're looking for is not only the quantity of invertebrates but also the diversity. So far we have found a snail, some tadpoles, and Greg. What we found in this sample are some mites and some mosquito larvae. This is not necessarily a bad thing, it just means they live in this wetland too, like all the other ones. Here we have a midge and a mayfly, which is especially important to the ecosystem. This is a cow. Cows are detrimental to the ecosystem. It is important to have proper wetland fencing in order to keep the cattle away. This is an example of what we might find in a wetland ecosystem. Judging by what we found today, I would say that this wetland is pretty healthy. Uh, but now I think it's time to return these organisms back to the wetland. Otherwise, you'll be dis sorry, <laughs> disrupting the wetland, and that would be extremely destructive. Let's go, Ben. Not only are the Okanagan wetlands important to the invertebrates, but they're also extremely important to the Okanagan endangered species such as the yellow-breasted chat, the tiger salamander, and the spade-foot toad. You wouldn't want to kill those. They're super important. Wetlands are also home to multiple different species of plants that are endangered in the Okanagan Valley. Like this, the chocolate lily. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Gorgeous. Well, Ben, I say oh, it's a pretty eventful day. I'm pretty tired now. Yeah, me too, Pat. We sure learned a lot about invertebrates, the ecosystem, plants, and other things in the Okanagan. I hope you guys learned something too. Take this lesson with you for the rest of your life. Thanks for coming with us today, guys. See ya. See ya. Wow, Pat, look. This is an aspen. You can tell it's an aspen because of the way Okanagan wetlands. <laughs>